Welcome to Coloring Rugs. Today, we're going on an exciting journey while we color something super special. Today, we'll be coloring a beautiful big garden called Hazel Hair's Harvest. Just imagine this garden full of bright red apples, big orange pumpkins, juicy oranges, crunchy carrots, and so many green lush plants. Doesn't that sound colorful? And guess what? While we color in all the amazing fruits and veggies, we're also going to follow a story about Hazel, the smart little hare who runs this whole garden and shares his crops with everyone who needs them. But something strange is happening. Some fruits and vegetables have been disappearing and Hazel has to find out why. In a small sunny forest lived a little hare named Hazel. He wasn't just any hare. Hazel was known all around the forest for his big, beautiful garden called Hazel Hare's Harvest. His garden was full of colorful apples, giant pumpkins, juicy oranges, crunchy carrots, and all sorts of lush green plants. Every morning, Hazel would hop out to his garden, water the plants, pull out weeds, and make sure everything was just perfect. And when the fruits and vegetables were ripe, he'd pick them with care, placing each one gently in his little wooden cart. He sold them to everyone in the forest at the best prices, helping anyone in need. One fine day, Hazel noticed something strange. A plump red apple had disappeared from his cart. He scratched his fluffy head, wondering where it could have gone. He thought maybe he'd misplaced it, so he didn't worry too much. But the next morning, two oranges were gone. And the day after that, a whole pumpkin was missing. Now, Hazel was starting to get curious. This can't be a coincidence, he said. So that night, Hazel decided to stay awake and hide behind the pumpkin patch to see who was taking his fruits and vegetables. As the sun went down, Hazel heard a rustling sound. He peeked over a pumpkin leaf and saw none other than Benny, a little brown mouse nibbling on an apple. Benny had always been a bit of a trickster, but he never seemed like the kind to take things without asking. Hazel decided to step out quietly and said, Hey there, Benny. Enjoying my apple? Benny jumped up, looking surprised. Oh, uh, hi, Hazel. I, I was just, I mean, I thought no one would notice. Benny squeaked, his cheeks turning red. Hazel gave him a kind smile and said, I did notice, Benny, but if you needed some fruit, all you had to do was ask. Benny sighed and looked down at his tiny paws. I'm sorry, Hazel. I just didn't have anything to trade with and my family was really hungry. Hazel thought for a moment, you know, Benny, my garden grows best when it's shared with everyone who needs it. So here's what we'll do. I'll give you all the fruits and vegetables your family needs, and in return, you can help me water and take care of the garden. How does that sound? Benny's face lit up. Really? You'd let me help you? Oh, thank you, Hazel. And from that day on, Benny joined Hazel every morning, watering the plants, pulling weeds, and even learning to pick the fruits and vegetables just right. With Benny's help, Hazel's garden grew even bigger and brighter. They became the best team in the forest. And soon, Hazel Hare's harvest was known all around. Other animals started coming by, offering help and sharing their own crops or supplies. One sunny afternoon, as Benny watered the pumpkin patch, Hazel said, Remember, Benny, kindness is like a garden. The more you share it, the more it grows. Benny nodded, his heart full, and he never forgot that lesson. Moral of the story. Kindness is like a garden. When you share it, it only grows. Let's wrap up our coloring process. But before we finish, make sure to hit that subscribe button 
and give this video a big thumbs up. Your support helps us continue creating more fun and colorful content for you. Don't forget to stay tuned for more exciting stories and coloring adventures coming your way soon.